Hi guys, this is Farzan. Welcome back to Farzalozi, and I'm here with another color grading tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a cinematic type of color grading in Photoshop using just adjustment layer. So you can do it in any version of Photoshop. Now let's get started. Okay, uh, I will use this picture and at first uh, I want to copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and Z and then convert it to a smart object and you know the benefit of using the smart object it is a non-destructive way of editing so I always love to work with the smart object so you can always come back and read it okay okay then go to the image and go to the adjustment and here uh, I need to do something like uh, shadows and highlights so open shadows and highlights option bar and here is use my uh, okay if you don't find all this option just enable the show more option okay so you will find all this slider and now okay you can see the uh, before and after here look at this this was the before and this is after look at it's already uh, looking good but i want to make it better so i want to the value of increase the value of shadows here i am going with 50 and that's good now come to the highlights let's increase the highlights and let's see what happened okay this is ugly uh, I will uh, decrease the opacity later so let's go with around 60 that's good and let's decrease the tone a little bit. so here I'm going with uh, around 40 and for radius let's increase the radius okay not too much I'm going with around 95 or uh, 97 6 that's fine so it's done look at this this was the before and this is after i cannot press okay look at this this was the before and this is after but the effect is too much i know it so i want to reuse it so for this just look at this icon look at this corner here just click twice and you'll find a new window from here you can decrease the opacity and i have to decrease the opacity around i think uh, maybe Okay, let's take this mode around I think 38 looking good look at this this was the before and this is after okay now press ok let's see the before and after again look at this this was the before look at this carefully and this is after just a simple shadows and highlights look at this the correction of shadows and highlights it looks already beautiful okay now the second step go to the filter and then other and select the high pass and in the high pass let's let's increase the value around uh, maybe maybe 20.8 pixels I'm going with this okay so now press okay that's fine and now I want to decrease the opacity also by clicking twice here and decrease it to around maybe around 25 I think 25 is looking good so now press ok and now look at this this was the before and this is after it looks good right ok it's fine ok now the another step uh, I want to apply a gradient map here so for this just uh, go to the adjustment layer option and here select the gradient map that's good ok so here is your gradient panel ok it's full of white I don't know why okay let's change the color I want to apply a little bit bluish color you know the cinematic tone so click on this and select the color from here okay the color code is 111514 it's totally dark it's almost black color so let's put this okay so it's on location 0 and now the next one I want to uh, put it on the location 50% okay so let's see so this one and now change the color from here and this time the color code is 2 f 4 3 3 f look at this color so now press ok and now come to the last one and here change the color to b 0 and then d e d 5 a little bit uh, brighter color this time okay so 
press OK. And now it's not what we want. So for this, change the blending mode to soft light. And look at this. This was the before. And this is after. It looks great. Okay, but the effect is too much. Uh, so I need to decrease it around 60%, I think. That's fine. Look at this now. This was the before and this is after. It looks really great. And now let's jump into the next step and go to the curves option and select here rgb okay uh, i have to add little bit faded effect not too much just a little so click this point and you know the scroll so drag it to the up so it's fine just a little and the second one i am giving i want something a little bit darker so look at this simple curves okay now go to the blue channel okay for i want to add in the shadows i want to add blues in the shadows so for this just click on this point and drag it to the up look at this look at this beautiful bluish tone i love this one so i am giving like this okay and the second one again i think this is fine i think yeah it looks great Look at this, this was the before and this is after. It gives you a little bit of uh, faded effect for the ROGV curves and also add some contrast and then uh, then I will have, uh, then I applied a bluish tone and a little bit yellowish tone on the highlights. It's, it's really looking beautiful. Okay. And then the next step. Go to the levels option and select your RGB. And click this triangle and drag it to the right to add some more contrast and look at this I think this is too much so I'm going with 22 here for this point and let's this one just a little drag it to the left I think this is fine it adds a little bit brightness so it's good look at this this was the before and this is after okay you can decrease this uh, of a city from here it's pretty simple so i'm going with 85 percent it looks good to me and the last step if you want you can add some more bright and contrast so let's increase it around i think i think it looks fine and for contrast i'm going with around 20 look at this this was the before and this is a, it's totally depends on you if you want more bright and contrast then you can uh, apply this one so i am decreasing uh, the opacity and look at this this was the before and this is after so i think the color grading is done look at this before and after overall look at this this was the before look at this simple picture and look at this after all these things all these simple things actually look at this this was the before and this is after it's very beautiful okay uh, now you can apply uh, my retouching action for skin retouching or smooth thin uh, the skin it's it's simple the, and the action is totally free uh, just link is on the description go and download it okay so create a new layer by pressing shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e and now just play the action play the retouching action and it's totally free okay so for here i'm going with around 12 that's good and for Gaussian blur, I am going with around. Let's zoom in and see. I think 6.4 looks good or 7. Let's go with 7. And now just paint on the skin. It's simple. Just take your time and paint on the skin. It's, it's really quick way to retouch the skin. And it's totally free just go and download look at this this was the before look at the skin and this is after so it's done I'm doing it roughly and look at this this was the before and this is after it's very simple easy to get this kind of effect you can get this color grading as action in my pattern account so support me on my pattern and go and download it okay i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe